get my pose on like I'm from Italy or somewhere. Anyway, yes sir, today, what are we cooking? Figured I'd cook a turkey, right? Get in preparations for Thanksgiving is coming up. I usually fry my turkey. I said, but you know what? I got a turkey in the freezer I need to go in and uh, thaw out. Why not? Let's brine one, right? So I got a video that should have been posted right before this one on how to brine a turkey. Let's brine a turkey and use this right here, this, this thing right here. We call it a Smoky Mountain Weber, right? If you don't know what a Smoky Mountain Weber is, go look at my video called How to Pick a Grill. Yep, I'll tell you about which grills work. No propane here, man. If you're on a, if you're on a propane binge, you might as well go to another person's channel because I don't use that right there. I use propane to light my charcoal. That's about it. Good looking out, propane. Other than that, hey, I'm the king of the hill over here. And it ain't no damn propane. Charcoal, baby. Charcoal and wood when I pull out big burn, stick burner time. Y'all know what I mean. But anyway, um, no lighter fluid here. Right. If you want to know why don't you or how I get around using a lot of fluid, I'll film a video. Matter of fact, I might do it later on today, maybe tomorrow. But anyway, I'm rambling. I know I talk a lot, but anyway, like I said, we're gonna hook it up today, y'all. We're gonna put this damn turkey on this thing right here. I ain't got too many videos with the Smoky Mountain Weber. I got one out there, some lost footage. I'm going to upload it my very first time when it was all brand new. The wife had bought it for me. For, hey, when you bought that for me? Birthday what? Father's Day. Father's Day. Father's Day. Got me a Father's Day gift, so I'm all amped up. You know what I'm saying? My dog at the time, you'll see him running through the screen and whatnot. But anyway, feel free to go out there and see that one when I post it. Uh, it's called My Very First Smoking Mountain Weapon. Uh, and it's a review of this same one that I done had for like years. This thing is the truth, right? But anyway, uh, turkey. I'm gonna smoke me a turkey. I'm gonna smoke me a turkey. If you want some, cook your own, man. This is mine. <laughs> no, let me stop though. I'm gonna walk y'all through the tutorial, how to, uh, the brine, what it looked like. Obviously, you can go to the other video and see what the brine is and how you, how you brine a turkey. And then, how to, uh, set up the charcoal in here on another video called, uh, how to set up the menu method on the Smoky Mountain Weber. And I got tutorials on everything, man. So, if you got anything you want to say, man, comment, question, subscribe. Um, not necessarily in that order. Or tips to better my skills. Because I'm all for it. I still don't think nobody can beat me. But if you're a true barbecue, then that's what you're supposed to say. Right? So, until somebody prove me otherwise and give me some good tips. Because I think I'm Mr. Perfect. But no, let me stop. Okay, the wife is getting mad. All right, so we're going to go in and go in the kitchen, man. I'll see y'all in there in a minute. All right, YouTube. We back. Like I said, we cooking a turkey tomorrow. Um, I'm going to let this here brine marinate on this turkey right here. I'm going to hurry up and throw this in the uh, refrigerator, let it chill. But anyway, if you want to uh, figure out what I got in here other than the oranges, uh... Refer to my other video. I put the link in, in the description so you can uh, check that out on how to brine a turkey. But anyway, uh, I'm going to take this out, pat it dry in the morning, and then we're going to rock and roll. Like I said, cooking a turkey tomorrow. Sunday football. Holla. Hi, right, YouTube. We back. I just took my turkey out of the uh, refrigerator. It's been sitting there for about uh, a little bit under 22 hours. Right, so the average is about 18 to 24 hours. You don't want to do it no longer than that. So just keep that in mind. So um, why, I don't know. But I wouldn't do it for longer than that. But anyway, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my turkey out, put it in the sink, and discard this right here. You know, you can get rid of this now. You don't need this anymore. Um, and then I'm going to season it with my Cajun Injector Hickory Grill Seasoning. It came with a kit. And this is what I had left over. So, uh, attached with the brine. I'm not going to inject this turkey. I'm just going to use some of this Hickory Grill seasoning. Uh, put in the turkey. Then I'm going to put it on my Smoky Mountain Weber. Alright, so if you got any questions on where I got it from, um, hit me up. Like I said, I'm in North, Northeast Florida. And then uh, we'll go from there. 
I'll be back and I'll show you the turkey, uh, a seasoned turkey before I uh, take it out and put it on the uh, grill. I'll be back in a minute. All right, YouTube. All right, so this is my wet turkey. I just finished washing it off. You just take paper towels, some heavy duty ones, and all you're doing is basically drying it off, right? Um, bet you're probably saying, why dry it off if, you know, maybe the liquidy part will help the uh, seasoning stick. Um, on the contrary, use my Goya extra virgin, extra virgin olive oil, right? If you happen to kill a little bit. Um, even get this uh, turkey neck, neck bone, a little love. And then, uh, let me get that little leaf over there. Yeah, I got a couple of them on there trying to sneak on my grill. Uh, but yeah. Alright, that's good and wet. Good and dry, man. Alright. Get them wings. Yeah, get them wings. Man, I can't wait to eat this thing. I'm so hungry right now, it don't make no sense. Alright, key. Alright, the cavity. Alright, you wanna get up in there. We call this the booty. I'm gonna cut him off. Uh, actually, I might just leave him. Somebody like eat the booty. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. Somebody may want to eat the turkey booty. Wait a minute, let me rephrase that. Somebody might want to eat the end of the turkey. How about that? <laughs> hey man, don't judge me. Some of y'all like their little booty. <laughs> hey, anyway, hey man, this ain't no children for the ch channel. We talk how we talk, right? This barbecue on backyard conversation. Well, ain't no kids to lie. Anyway, like I said, I need a couple more of these towels just to finish this on off. Because I definitely don't want no salt-ish brine on there. It's all, look at that. Turkey look like He-Man right now. You squeeze it. He-Man. Anyway. Yeah. Alright. So let me get up in there good. Good in there. You're trying to hit, hide that. That man, he's got his little 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 hat on, like he uh, like he uh, eh, a villain or something. Put the little head over over over. <laughs> I call that flap back. Anyway, yeah. All right. So let me discard of those. No, nothing like having a decent little kitchen. So a little bit of olive oil. You get your rub on. All right. You don't want to use too much. Um, get these little sprigs out of here. You don't want to use too much. Kind of like putting some uh, some liquid petroleum jelly on your body, <laughs> or some sunscreen lotion. Think about it like that, right? You don't want to get burnt up. Hey, neither does this turkey. Hey y'all, this backyard barbecue, you know how we get down. Flip her over. Put a little oil on her. Get your minds out the gutter. That's a little bit too much. But anyway, never too much oil. Alright. Lather this up. Wash my hands real quick. And we're gonna use this hickory seasoning. Smells good in the bottle, man. I think I used it once or twice before on some chicken. And people got mad just because there wasn't no more chicken left. So I guess it's okay. So big ups to them guys over there for uh putting some kind of decent seasoning together. I ain't gonna season it too heavy. I'm lying. I'm from the south. I love the taste of seasoning. So, fellas, ladies, this is how you tell if somebody's a real cook. If they got skills, right? You ever had a piece of chicken, fried chicken maybe? And they claim they, they the best or whatever, but not even fried chicken because we talking, that's a grilling channel. Grilled chicken. And they claim they the best in the world, whatever the case may be. 
And you taste the chicken, you taste the seeds on the outside, but can't taste nothing on the inside. Just like they just coated it. Or they slick with it. And they call themselves uh they call themselves uh putting uh some sweet baby rays on there or whatever uh kind of barbecue sauce to to uh isolate the the flavor. Tricky. I call it trick fucking. Right? Trick me. You ain't got no skills. Skills, ladies and gents, is not putting no sauce on it. Let me taste the chicken for what it really is, truly is, and see if you put in some work. All right? So I'm going to go up in the cavity. I feel like, call me Dr. B, y'all. I'm up in now. <laughs> yeah, you definitely want to get the cavity, man, behind the breastplate and all of that. I'm not going to piece this out. I'm just carving up you for uh, uh, lunch for if whatever the kids don't eat. Um... Or my filmer, Queen B. She don't like that name. But she'll be alright. Get some of this on him. You know this is a delicacy. We'll be fighting over this. Forget what? Everybody gone right now. Except me and the filmer. So, we gonna fight over it. Yep. Yep, yep. Alright. Trick. Let me create this little bubble. And I'll put me some seasoning up in here. Look at that. Hey, y'all. Got my rubber gloves on. <laughs> anyway, let me stop messing with y'all. This food. All right. Put a little seasoning right there. Rub it on up in there. You want to get good and up in that cavity. Up in the cavity. Up in the, uh, up under the skin. Because remember, this is going to sit for about an hour in the refrigerator before I put it on. All right. About an hour before I put it on. So I'm putting it back in the refrigerator. And then uh, we're going to go from now. Yep. This should be an awesome turkey here, y'all. Alright. Got a couple openings right here. Take that, rub that in now. That breast going to be something to fight for. I can't wait till they, they get home to see who uh, fight for what piece. Or what piece is left. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah. Uh, if you don't have that problem, then you ain't no real good cook. But practice make perfect. And I'm getting ready for Thanksgiving and uh, Christmas. You know, I do a couple turkeys here and there for people or whatnot. So if you're in the uh, Jacksonville, Florida area, feel free to comment, whatever. Hit me up. I might be able to give you one. Uh, but we'll talk about that offline. Anyway. Yeah, grease that little spot up that we talked about earlier. You know, get a little bit more in this cavity because it looks kind of dry. And uh, there we go. All right. And bam, you don't want to over season turkey, like I said, because you already got seasoning that uh in the brine that was sitting there. That's why you put whatever you want in the brine. Um. <laughs> nah. Alright. So, there you have it, ladies and gents. A seasoned, padded dry turkey that's going on my Smoking Mount Weber here shortly. I'll see y'all out there. Alright, everybody. we back. Part in the rain. We're getting down out here. Got my turkey in my neck bone. Right? I'm going to go ahead and throw this on my smoke. My smoke is at about 275. And throw it on there. Keep in mind, y'all. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Keep in mind. Right? Let me go ahead and close this real quick. All right? Nothing new about it. Got water in there going on. But keep this in mind. Right? You always want to take your meat out the grip. I mean, out of the uh, refrigerator. Maybe 30 minutes. 30. About 30 minutes. 30 minutes is a good number. Because what that'll do is allow your your meat to come down to room temperature before you put it on the grill. Because here's what happens. At 275, I just took this turkey out of the refrigerator. I should have took it out and just let it sit out until it was ready, about 30 minutes. But what's gonna happen now is my temperature is gonna drop tremendously. Um, say it was at 275, but it'll probably be 225. Then I have to fight to get my temps up, right? Because a cold piece of meat going into heat, obviously gonna drop the temp. So that's why you wanna leave it out for about 30, 30 minutes, 
no more than 35 minutes. Don't mess with chicken like that. Leave it out maybe 15, 20 minutes because uh, you don't want to get uh, salmonella introduced bacteria. But uh, sorry about that. My neighbors come home and they know that they smell it. It's Labor Day weekend. But anyway, uh, I'll talk to them in a minute. Um, I got this going. Like I said, we're going to cook this. And I'm not going to give you a time on when it's done because the reality of it is, is depending on the barbecue, will determine how long your piece of meat cooks. Right? This is not frying where you get it up to a certain temp and it'll stay there. Right? This is grilling. Well, this is smoking. Sorry about that. This is smoking. So what's going to happen is when I'm smoking this meat, if it stays at a certain temperature, it'll be done theoretically at the same time. But what happens is every piece of meat is always a different weight so you can't do it by that you got to say hey i need this to be 165 degrees which is what i'm aiming for in the breast because that's the biggest piece of meat and then we'll go from there once it's 165 every other piece of, of meat in there talking about the legs the uh, thighs the wings the drumsticks and then obviously the breast will be at the, uh, the optimal temp so we'll be back periodically like i said i'm gonna let this run for about an hour and a half oh before i go let me show you what I'm going to throw on here. Bam. Wood chips. Right? I'm, not gonna th I'm gonna wait about an hour. Right? Because I want turkey to come up to temp to at least a, a, a room temp so I can maintain my temp. And then I introduce smoking to it. I want to do it while it's ice cold. I want it to be warm and starting to cook before I introduce uh, charcoal to it. Ladies, fellas, let me tell you somebody who can't cook barbecue if you add water to this if you know somebody that soaks wood in water they ain't got no skills let me tell you what happens right what happens when you introduce water to anything just say take a piece of wood and you put it in water right and it say it soaks for a whole week that whole piece of wheat uh piece of wood whether you know it or not it's not going to be soaked thoroughly anyway but what happens then and you stick it on a fire you produce what Fire on something wet creates what? Steam. Guess what we doing here? We ain't steaming food, we smoking. So when you take an actual piece of wood on a controlled fire, controlled is the key because you don't want the piece of wood to catch on fire. Controlled fire, and you put that on there, now you create smoke. Cherry smoke. I don't want cherry steam. I want cherry smoke. So keep that in mind when you see somebody out there. Or if it's you, try something different. Trust me, you'll notice the difference in the flavor of your meat. And you might be saving yourself some money because you're just steaming away your uh, your wood and you ain't doing no good, right? So try that. We'll be back, like I said, probably an hour, hour and a half, um, whatnot. Actually, I'm going to come back in about an hour, put wood on there, uh, wood chips. And then we're going to go from there until this thing is cooked. We'll be back in a little bit, YouTube. What's up there? Mr. B, we back. Uh, and we're cooking this turkey. All right? It has been about... Roughly two hours. I'm about to check it. All right. Get a load of them juices just sitting in there. Look at that leg. Hello there, Mr. Piggy. Yeah. Look at them juices just sitting in there. I'm going to spritz this. And I'm going to flip it. Just one time. Handy dandy spray. Like I said, I got that from Home Depot. Uh, look at that. <laughs> Tell me that don't look good. Like I said, I'm gonna spray it over them. Spread my wings. Uh, yep. Let it go. Actually, hold on. Let me tell the tip. All right, y'all. Sorry about that. I bumped into my uh, my camera lady, right, or whatnot. But let's see what these tip looking like. One sixty. Try not to poke too many holes. One fifty eight. Still got a little time. That don't look done. Like I said, one fifty. Still got a little time. 150. We got time. And I guarantee them legs done. 
Look at that, 170. Right on point. So we're gonna let this breathe. Put this top back on, because if, you, if you're looking, you ain't cooking. And we're gonna go from there. Got neighbors walking by. <laughs> walking by. Because they smell it. I know it's me, Mr. B. I know it. Got to be. But anyway, we'll be back in about an hour. This turkey should be done. Um, I'll let y'all see the final product. If I can hold myself from eating it. Nah, I'm messing with you. Gotta let this thing sit for like an hour, hour to 15 minutes. Roughly, I do like a hundred and, I mean, an hour and 30 minutes. Damn dog. Shut up back there. See what I'm talking about? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. See, they smell it too. I know y'all gonna get a little piece. Y'all gonna chew on the bone later. Anyway, we're gonna let this thing cool down once we take it off. And then we're gonna carve it up. And we're gonna have some turkey. Oh, Lord. I'll be back in a minute. What's up, YouTube? You know what time it is. When you pull this out right here, time to check this meat and see where we at. Over this turkey is around 165. Like I said, when you pull it off, it's still gonna cook internally, right? So we pull it at 165, it'll probably go at about 170 or 172 ish, depending on how long you let it sit. If you wrap it, if you put it in a cooler after you wrap it or whatever. Um, but yeah, we're about to see. Hopefully, it's done because my lighting getting bad and I can't provide you a, a, a well lit video without doing this right here every two minutes because my motion sensor over here. But uh, we're going to show you right quick. All right, let's see here. Where we at? Let's get a good read. Look at that. Right on point. 166. Let's see here. 165. What I tell you? It's a perfect read. We even go over here. Look at that. 164. Perfect. Perfect. All right, we're going to pull this turkey top on so I can go get my stuff to uh, pull this turkey and uh we're gonna let it sit put some aluminum foil on let it sit and then I'm gonna let the kids have fun with it and tell me how it tastes right this is Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue don't forget to like comment subscribe holla at your boy Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue we out